every once in a while at our lab, somebody will bring in some full page spreads for an album, and they'll want us to print them as split page spreads. So here I've got some images. I know they don't look like they're for an album. They're just some different images, and we're going to build an action to split them down the middle and save each one as two files. So I've been playing around with this for a little while, and I've learned a couple things. One is that if you build the action based on JPEGs, and then you go back and run it on a PSD, it's probably not going to be happy with you, and it's going to open up a... Every time it goes to save one of the files, it's probably going to open up a Save As dialog for some reason. That's not what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these. I'm going to duplicate a couple layers, and I'm going to save this as a PSD. We'll just call it Action and then .psd and let's see so now you can see we've got action.psd so this is the file I'm going to build my action based on. I'm going to go up here to my actions palette if you don't have this you can get to it under window and then actions and I've got a action set here called runs that's where I'm going to add this and we're going to call this split spreads and we're going to click on record so the first thing we're going to do here is duplicate this and we're going to go to image duplicate and we're going to accept the name it's going to give us you can't change this here or else it will every every one side of the split is going to be named the same thing and they'll all get overwritten each other so you're going to accept the name here click OK and now you'll see I have two images open and for this one, we're going to make sure that this becomes the left side. I'll get to that in a minute. We're going to go to Image, Canvas Size, and here we're going to change this to Percent, and we're going to change the width to 50, and then we're going to do the anchor that's the left middle one. The extension color doesn't matter because we're making it smaller. There is going to be no extension color. Then we're going to click OK. Proceed. When it asks, pops up that we're going to clip it, that's OK. And then we're going to go out and we're going to do File, Save As. And I've got an out output folder here. This is, you're going to set this when you do the batch, so it doesn't particularly matter where you save it as. And then we're going to do Save As a JPEG. Accept the file name again. Click Save. Make sure that the quality is a 10 or above. This is 10. That's OK. Click OK. And then we're going to close this. It's going to say, are you sure you want to, do you want to change the, do you want to save the changes to copy? And we're going to say no. And now it's closed. Now we're going to do the same thing to this one. Canvas size, except we're going to do the right side. Change this to percent. 50. Click OK. Proceed. Save as. And we're going to change it to a JPEG again. Save. OK. Now we're going to close this. And again, we're going to say no. So at, that, at this point, we're done with the action. We're going to click on Stop. And let's see, we'll go back to bridge. And here I've set up an output folder. That's where I save those two. I'm going to delete them out of here. And I've got an input folder. This is where my different files are. I've got a PSD in here as a test to make sure it works on a PSD. And then the rest are JPEGs. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. We're going to go up to Tools, Photoshop, Batch. And here we're going to select the set in the action. It's automatically defaulting to the one that we just did. Sources bridge, that's where we just opened them up from, that's correct. And then on the right side under destination, we're going to choose folder. And then we'll go ahead and choose the actual folder that we want them to go to, the output folder. So this is over, overriding what we actually did in, this, in the action, because we're going to check this box, override action, save as commands. And then here, we're going to go ahead and keep the document name and the extension. And then we're going to click on OK. So you can see the action's running. We'll go over to Bridge, and we can look at the output folder and see what's going on. These two are the same because we had the PS, we made the PSD and named it Action. That was the same image. So now you can see that they're all there. They're all split. And one thing here is that the left side is the side that we duplicated when we opened up an image. Let's see, we'll go over here, open this back up. The first thing we did when we built the action was to duplicate the image. When you do that, it automatically appends the word copy with a space to whatever the file name was. 
And at, at this point, I should tell you, if you have file names to begin with, you're going to put into this action, and they include the word copy, it's not going to work because it doesn't add another word copy to the end, and they'll end up overwriting each other. You'll end up with only one side. So make sure your files don't have the word copy in them for some reason at the end. When it does this, this needs to be the left side, the one that's going to be named copy, because when you're in Bridge and you're looking at the output folder, the way Bridge sorts the file name, the space here after whatever your original file name was and then before the word copy, that makes it sort before just the end of the file name and then the extension. So you want that one to be the left-hand side because it sorts first.